Want to create epic custom gameplay inside Easy FPS Editor but feel limited by the tools? What if I told you there's a powerful scripting language hiding under the hood that can bring your wildest game ideas to life? Welcome back fellow game devs to another episode of Artificially Inked. I'm currently solo developing a game called Undead Sentence inside Easy FPS Editor and today I'm going to take you behind the scenes to show how I use scripting to push this engine beyond its limits. From dynamic events to custom logic and interactions, this is where your creativity really unlocks. Let's dive in. Let's start by breaking down the different types of scripts you can use in Easy FPS Editor. There are three main ones, map scripts, map loop scripts, and decoration scripts. For today's video, we'll focus on map scripts and decoration scripts since they're the most beginner friendly and easier to grasp. Map scripts allow you to manually spawn items in your level, like decorations, lights, and enemies without having to stamp them and using the editor's UI. I'm using this exact method in my current game, Undead Sentence, and it's a huge help for keeping the editor visually clean so I can focus purely on level design. But before we dive in too far, let's clear something up. Not everything can be placed via scripting. Elements like triggers, custom modifiers, and default modifiers still need to be added using the editor's UI. Keep that in mind when planning your workflow. Let's look at a quick example. Using the traditional method, we might stamp decorations, item pickups, some lights, and maybe an enemy directly onto the map. Now let's do the same thing using a script. First, make sure your map script has the exact same name as your map, followed by dot script. Save it in your scripts folder. When your game loads, this file will be read and your scripted objects will automatically appear in the world. To place an object like a decoration or enemy, the syntax is straightforward. Entity, spawn at. Then the name of the decoration or enemy followed by the coordinates. You'll find your coordinates displayed at the bottom of the editor. Just choose a tile and copy the X, Y, and Z values. That's exactly where your object will spawn every time. Here's a real example from my project. Pretty simple, right? Lighting works similarly, but has a slightly different command. Light, create. Here, you first define the position, then the size of the light, followed by its color using RGB values. I recommend using the user light tool in the editor to test colors. Once you find the right look, just copy the RGB values into your script. Using script-based placement gives you much more precise control than the UI alone. Whether you're organizing complex scenes or testing rapid changes, scripting lets you fine tune everything and keep your workspace clutter free. Now let's move on to decoration scripts, a powerful way to bring interactivity into your game world. These scripts can be attached to any entity, allowing the player to interact with objects using the E key. For example, you could let the player search a trash can for items. By naming the script file the same as the entity's name, it becomes interactive. Here's a quick example. When the player presses E near the trash can, the script can trigger sound effects, display images, or show text messages adding depth and immersion to your world with just a few lines of code. Decoration scripts can also be used with triggers which are activated when the player walks over a specific area. These are perfect for one-time events like spawning an enemy as the player enters a room. Here's what that looks like in action. An enemy appears the moment the player steps through the trigger zone, creating tension and surprise. And that wraps up our deep dive into the scripting of Easy FPS Editor. I hope this gave you a solid foundation to experiment with scripting and start thinking outside the box. These methods are absolutely essential for keeping your workflow clean and your creativity flowing. 